themselves. So, um, now they're against some uh, real competition. Like, EU trials, uh, like, trials teams, like, they can, can range from, like, yeah, like, uh, like, you know, when they're forced to, like, play against owl players, obviously, they're gonna get spawn camped, but, like, British Hurricane is, um, actually an okay team, so uh, let's go. Okay, let's go yep. increase the bit rate. So, um, British Hurricane are gonna play Brawl with, um, Ash. Interesting. Could be, like, the long sight lines here, I guess. Um, f like, Fusion University are gonna play, like, standard double bubble. Um, I I'd play Mercy here, honestly. Like, you're not gonna expect them to mirror double bubble. Like, British Hurricane, like, they're not a team known for, like, their double bubble. And, like, EU tanks in general, like, they they can't play Winston. So, like, you, so like I, I'd never, I almost never run out, run, run out on the break unless you're gonna expect them to run, like, a ball comp or something. Like, Mercy is just better because, um, you know, break is okay for supporting Tracer. That's the benefit. And maybe peel for, like, Ana a bit. But, like, that's not what you play like, unless you're gonna use, like, the stun and, like, you know, like, unless, like, someone's gonna get, like, um, dove, like, you know, singled out and isolated, then, like, the break's gonna be useless. Like, maybe British Hurricane, like, will rush, like, <clears throat> will rush your Zarya and you might consider the peel or something, like, valuable, but, um, but otherwise, like, like, first of all, like, if you're playing it right, then, like, bro, this Brawl team should never be able to trade out your, um, should never be able to like um, trade out your your backline without consequence. Like every time they try to rush your backline, you should be set up in a position where you can punish them and trade their backline. So like you you have a Winston tracer on the flank if they try to like rush your backline, and then the Winston tracer can look to like get get their um get their back wall for example while they're like going in, and also like Mercy just like provides more poke, and you need poke to like kind of like make this comp um to weaken this comp like this comp's very resource based but like if if it can win the fight before it uses all their cooldowns then like they're gonna win the fight like and finish you as well like you want to make it so that if they try to like if they try like you know force point or try to like go at your back line then they have to use a lot of cooldowns and that's what mercy pocketed ash provides like mercy pocketed ash can bring like any of these players down to like critical and like that will force like appeal like from from diva force dm force um force immor force um what else maybe amp heals if they're like for example but yeah so like uh, <clears throat> okay enough commenting on the break pick but i don't like it so like so like um this isn't the best position. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, Shockwave should not be here, I think. Shockwave should be, like, here. Shockwave should be on an angle, ready to punish them as they go in. Like, they need to look to catch the rush. They need to look to catch it. Like, like they, they shouldn't be, like, all right here. And Jakaru's, like, right on the flank, but, like, D.Va can just, like, mark him, so... So, like, this flank will have to be pretty fast, and they have to, like, pretty much go now, or else, like, British Hurricane are going to gonna go in and get really close to this team, and, like, this team is stacked together, basically. So, like, they're gonna get a lot done, unless, like, Jakaru gets to relieve the pressure immediately. So, like, maybe he jumps up here as they, they go in, but, um, I don't know, let's see. But I don't think they're well positioned for this. Like, they have, um, they have Sugar Free on the flank, but it's not a deep one by any means. Okay, big nade, actually. Big nade. Go, 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 go. Oh, how does Jakaru die so early? And, by the way, I'm not sure why they're running Double Bubble. Why not run Winston Diva? Like, forget about run... Forget about playing slow for your Zarya to get energy. By the time your Zarya has energy, boom, they're already fucking here. Like, don't run double bubble in, like, control. Run Winston Diva. 
and like hybrid, like th that um, engage gets hybrid, but but sugar free like gets cut off from uh, from cruise and dies. Like they're finding picks though. They're finding picks. British Hurricane or not? British Hurricane are kind of AFK forcing point, but but their BAP's like here for some reason, like Scarippa or whatever. Like, like where? Wait, what? Why? 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 Why do you need to be here? Why not somewhere here? This is just a sloppy mistake. Arguably, like Yikids should not be here as well. So like they're still finding like trades, but um, they're not like, but like um, Fusion University haven't broken through yet. They kind of need their main tank to come back. <clears throat> Talkwave gets a few. Sugar free dies. Wait, how do where sugar free? Sugar free like, mm. oh loses the one v one probably. Oh that sucks. Like probably a headshot. Okay, someone needs to mine the broom, the May in the back. Please, please, please. Sorry. Like someone needs some like clear the clear this flank, clear this flank before forcing point. Clear, clear, clear. Thank, thank goodness it, it, it's taking so long. What's what's taking so long? Well, like like by the time you like look, it's already. Like, you already forced, like, probably a pack. I'm not sure. Let me see. Like, like look at how much poke. Like, you force whip. You force, uh... That should be packed. But, like, you forced a nade out. And, and like, you could still... It's, it's, like, taking so much space. Clear the fucking flanks. And, by and, and like, by the time, like... By the time, like, they're offering any significant resistance, he already, like, gets uh, help. Like, the respawns are coming. Big mistake. Big mistake. That's a, yeah, yeah, that's a, mm, like, it might be hard to contest that with Zarya, kind, to an extent, but maybe D.Va would be better, but, but, like, uh, that's a big mistake. No excuse. Okay, so, um, Sugar Freeze on a flank, but, but, uh, uh, yeah. Sure. Okay, let's see. So like, so like, let's see what else they have. They pop the primal first. I expect the nano first, but what? Oh well. And like, um, British Hurricane, they're they're still like holding the choke right here. So I guess this flank is fine. I usually usually would prefer a deeper flank right here, but this flank by Tracer is perfectly fine if they're here. But um. But like, oh, how how does her backline get rushed so easily? Mm, oh, shatter. Yeah, I have to play around that. So um. Mm, so like, Poco should have like probably saved self bubble. Poco should probably save self bubble to block that or something. No, like. Oh, it's it's the freeze shatter, yeah. So like they're just gonna be trading back lines and like Helvi does die. But Jakar is still alive. Without like but the nano's gone now. That's the problem. That's why like you don't primal nano. You always want a nano plus then primal, like most of the time. Like there isn't really a good reason, I think. Like maybe you wanna like push them out of the choke or something, but like maybe like Jakari was afraid that like when he jumps in, he's gonna get walled off, but um Okay, so now like um they're gonna run McFlurry, yeah. Um Tracer staging far on the left. And Jakar gets the opening all But uh this is too far. I think this is too far. 
I want um, Fusion University to rotate their back line to here before throwing this ult. Like, they have options. Like, they could rush down Poco, but, like, but like you're going to take a lot of Poke doing so, and Poco can, can like, also join the rotation, and you're going to be using speed boosts and a shit ton of things. And um, you're going to allow the Tracer to, like, go deeper into the flank. So, um, and, or, like, they could try to, like, rush down the core here, but, like, you know, like, Jakar just goes in, and then, like, they have a really good angles to, like, kind of engage upon. But, um, right here, this is too far. It's gonna be hard. Like, like, British Hurricane can force the... Can, like, force the fight to happen, like, near cover. Oh, I guess they have High Noon, but... But, like, yeah, this fight's pretty dirty because, like, let's look at where Shockwave is. You have to, like, have to, like, know where Shockwave is. You don't, like, you need those positions first. Like, Shockwave's nowhere to be seen. Like, Shockwave needs to be on an angle. On, like, a pretty aggressive angle. Uh, and, he, and he has to make use of that. And, and because, like, Cruz is, like, so far away from the fight, like... It's gonna take some time for him to pop rally. Like, imagine if he was here and able to rally, like, from here immediately. So, this fight was just started at a really bad position. And so, they switched to Ryan, probably to sustain themselves on the point or something, but. Yeah, like, they fucked up that fight, and, like. They were too scared. They were like overly scared of this brawl comp who doesn't have like any much poke pressure in the first place. So like they had time to rotate. It's not like they had to do a four headed engage like immediately. So like uh, British Hurricane, they're going to like basically turtle mega or something. Or they're going to rot. Or they're just going to like rush down the core. Mm. So like this is like a common position to play when you think they're gonna run a ball comp or like a Winston comp. Like this is like the anti dive position. But if they're not running like with like um, if they're not running like any such like such a comp, then um, mm, well first I'm gonna know I don't know why they're running Ana. Why not Zen? Um, second um you prom you probably like will look to like kind of split more. So like. So, like, you might... I don't know why they're running Zarya as well, but... I don't like the Zarya pick. Oh, Jakar gets... So, like, they're on this really small sight line, and yeah. They just get rushed down, and there's not enough time to relieve that pressure. Let's take a look at this again. Like, um, the slam should have happened, like, somewhere here. Like earlier, like start like the animation earlier, and then like you slam in here, and then like hopefully you have a shockwave, a sugar free somewhere here to like kind kind of like trade out their resources in exchange for your engage, and then like once they use their resources, then you're gonna then like you're gonna have to consider, hey, do I want to stay here, or like do I want to? Um... And our option is, hey, like. Maybe we, because, like, they have to have a Maywall to, like, get up there in the first place. Maybe we kind of split. So, like, we kind of have, um, we, we kind of have, like, Zarya try to rotate here and then, like, do damage from here. Like, or do some poke from here, for example. But, I um, mean, have to, like, kind of consider. Um, where's Shockwave, though? Like, is he not in position to punish this? That's why I really do prefer to Mercy. Mercy is way better than Greg against Brawl. Like, a pocketed, pocketed Ash is fucking scary. Even after, like, the nerfs, it's still scary. It's still, like, almost a one-shot. One-shot headshot. Especially when you have, like, you know, an owl like Ash. So, like, right there they relieve the pressure, like, too late. And, and um... If they were playing like that, like, safer, like, not split position. But if they want to, like... If they want to, like, um, play well against this Brawl Comp, they have to play Split. 
there's no like you, you don't allow them to trade three of your backline. So like right here, um, why why is Helvy there? Dude, just hold the damn choke, like, like like there's there's like no reason to be here. Like your team's not like up there to support you, and this isn't a choke. This is pretty wide open. So like just just hold the damn choke. There's no reason to be here. And Helvy just dies. Like it's a lot. Like and then now like since there's nothing to hold the space like. Finzi's just peeling back. Like, for Jakaru, like, trying to touch the point, sure, but, like, eh, this is a fight win. Like, they just, they just roll onto point. And, like, yeah, that's not interesting to see. Let's, now, like, Poco's up there, they're set up their stage for the Engage and looks like they're just gonna like rotate right try to like and Try to, like do this, but um, uh, yeah, that gives firstly that gives them the high ground to use I don't That's why you don't that's why you see teams like fight for like this position in the first place It leads to the high ground you can take the high ground But like going here like already reduces your chance so of like winning this fight like what they might have Wanted to do is like they, they send Finzi here clear Jakaru out Force him back to his team, like, even though Boombox might be able to, to, like, support that. And then, like, you can start pushing in. You clear Poco, you, you force him back, and then, like, once you clear the angles, you just take the high ground and try to, like, um, send maybe one on point and put point pressure. But, like, right here, like, they can't clear the ball. They, they have, they're still, like, like, they're still, like, on this high ground to use. And they're in a small, they're in this like small ass corridor where like they can be surrounded. Uh yeah, that's it's a short sight line, sh sure, but so m might not be the worst. It might not be the worst since they're running brawl, but uh, still, like they have multiple angles. They have the high ground on it. And, like the high ground is it's what is what matters. Like you don't you, you don't go into point without clearing the high ground. Like unless you have like six alts, and even if you have six alts, and like high ground just means that they might be able to just preemptively like kill one or two or deplete your cooldowns. Your alts aren't really particularly powerful anyway. So okay, so now they look to clear clear high ground. Like Jakaru is like positioned here, I would ex I would expect Shockwave to be positioned in a better initial position, like not here. So like now, like uh, yeah, they're kind of in a line. They have Tracer, but like Diva should be able to peel that off. And Poco gets isolated, and the Graph gets eaten. Yeah, like this is this is just like Fusion University are not holding multiple angles. They're they're not holding like. Sure, like, it's better for Hurricane because they cleared a high ground, but, um, they're not holding multiple angles on, like, the team. And so, so, like, this is sloppily, like, executed. And, and that grab, like, even if that grab landed, let's, let's say, like, it wasn't eaten. Let's say that grab was landed. Like, right here. Right here. Like, are you really in a, that good of a position, really, to punish it? Like, Shockwave's, like, like, facing here. Like, Helv can just, like, up, like, you know, like, uh, you know, open a shield and boom, down, like, yeah. And, like, there is, like, there are boom, there is boom box here, but, like, that's, that can be eaten by D.Va, probably. Um, like, they, they're in an okay position, but they aren't in a stellar position. And they have to, like, alt C to throw at the fight. Okay, let's skip to the next fight. So, like, um, they're gonna hold the choke again, I, I assume. Please don't... Mm, uh, yeah, they're... They're trying to, like, this is... They were trying to catch, like, like, Fusion University's core, like, right here, but... But again, like, they just force point. Okay, like, the reason I actually, um, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna like comment on the ball pick. Like the reason is probably like honestly they just saw Shanghai run, run it, uh, in like the finals and you know hey it's a good idea, but like, um on maybe it's like on Busan like it it is good yeah ball is like good on Busan because like while there isn't like too many high grounds to stage on like you have this high ground sure but you have like this open space. Um, I mean, it's decent for Winston, actually. Like, the, the third point's, like, the one that's not bad. But, um, but like, uh, it's just a very wide map. And when you have a wide map, then, like, the mobility of Ball, like, shines. Because, like, like Ball can, like, take advantage of the width of the map. And, like, and like you know, control, control like, basically this whole area in, in like, uh, without having to, like, spend a lot of time. And also, like, um, Ball, like doesn't really like value high ground as much as still values high ground because you can pile drive but um but like when you don't have as much high ground to use then balls like a uh, balls like a competitive pick to winston basically i still prefer winston here but so like okay let's take a look at that so like British Hurricane, they try to go for this rush play, and then they get slammed, and Pulse Bomb, boom, gets gets the Rhine. Wait, why do they pop the window here, though? Like, if they're gonna, like, this was a bad window, honestly. Like, if they're, if they're gonna, like, like, it's so easy to just, like, slam through this window and, like, displace anyone who is trying to use it. Like, short sight lines, short sight lines, just think short sight lines. Um, and, like, it's gonna be less effective as well because, like, they're kind of on elevated ground and they're just... And it's not like, yeah, like... Like, the back line can just, like, tuck themselves in here a bit to kind of survive against this window. And, like, this space, like, they zone off this space, but... This could be, hey, I want to heal health, but, like, they have, like, a lot of burst, like, already. So, like, this window is just a waste. Like, a more compelling, like... A more compelling, um, like, Finzi should, like, Finzi was so scared of, like, Jakar, like, taking the point that, like, he's out of position for this. Like, maybe, like, they, they use, like, the high noon. If they, ha if they have, like, poke alts, then, like, maybe they give, like, maybe they don't hold choke, actually. Maybe they, like, give away some space and, and, like, they hold that high ground and just play for, like, um, play for like a window pick or like a high noon pick. So like yeah, like they don't have any brawl alts. Like they should they should play kind of back and play for spam. But uh, but yeah, like they use resources to kind of like rush, and they didn't commit to it. So like they. They wasted some of their cooldowns, and, and that allows Fusion University to break through the Brawl comp. So now they're running Sombra. Interesting. Like, are you trying to hack the ball? I don't get it. Like, like if Jakari's care, like, balls are pretty good at denying hacks nowadays, so. So, like, um... So, like, okay, let's see. It's like they're playing here, um, where's Shockwave? Shockwave, where are you? Where's Shockwave? They're on, mm, Sugar Free's not that well staged. Uh, it's okay, actually, it's okay. Um, but where's, um, yeah. But, um. So it zones them off. Like, it zones the auto off, so, like... But, like, why? Okay, so Shockwave's up there, yeah. I found him. But, um... But, like, while this High Noon... This High Noon makes space, and kind of... But it also, like, zones off their back line. But, um... But, like, uh... First, like... Like, why is nobody clearing Jakaru? Like, someone needs to clear him out. Like, Finzi, that's your job. Like, clear clear out Jakaru. Or at least, like, poke him out so he has to engage at half HP. Like, their backline's down here. Like, he should be able to, like, engage with full HP. 
And, and yeah, that kid just gets one pick and two. Oh, no, that. No, no, you don't. No, you don't do that. You pop the high noon, you, like you use it. You use the high noon, like you either take the space, like, like by take the space, I mean like, um, you can have your diva fly into it. You can have your diva fly into this, or like, I mean, I mean like, they're they're high nooning and then they're just not using the high ground. They're just walking onto point. I'm not sure. Like it, like sure it gets it. It drops like two of the backline down, but like, still, like this high noon's just like the only reason. This the only way this high noon could have gone value is that if they used it to clear Jakar and they didn't. Like Jakar got a three k, so bad, bad high noon, terrible, F minus. Okay, so like, uh, um, now both like team both teams are gonna run a. Oh, why? Why are they running Orisa? Why don't they just run Ryan here? So they're in British Hurricane are running a Brawl Comp. Um, Fusion University are running like a Ball Poke Comp. Not for pretty four-headed staging there. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Like, like I know, like they have like. I, I know they have like ball tracer d like zen like you like you might not want to it, it might be pretty hard or you might not want to play tracer against this because you're not you're it's gonna be very hard to stage but but like he just he just like literally like he just like four heads down main like boom like what the fuck Like, I mean, they kill Boombox off of it. Where, where's Boombox? And, and, like, I don't like them playing this stat. Like, they need to... They... Okay, okay, let me let me show you what I mean. So, um... So, like, like let me go back. Like, um, maybe, like, they place, like, the Brig Zen right here. Maybe they rotate, like, to here, and then they play Brig Zen right here. And then, like, the access, like, uh, like, your kids would have to, like, flank here, and then, like, to protect your Zen from, like, you know, the Tracer, what you do is, like, you just have your Tracer mark Yikids with, like, the Zen pocket, and yeah. But meanwhile, Zen's gonna do a lot of poke damage from the angle, and Sigma might be alone, but Sigma can kite back a bit. But, like, you'll just be luring them into this... Okay, let me use a different color. You'll just be luring them into this trap, and then, like... And then, like, you can poke them out from multiple angles, but right here, yeah. This is just not not, not split enough. Well, like, like I know it sounds like it sounds like being split is bad, but it's actually good. Like, there, how can it be punished? Like, the more split you are, like the more like angles, and the more angles you have to like worry about. Like, map control is really important. Don't underestimate. Mm. So like um right here interest let me see let me see so like they're gonna put take through the left side um British Hurricane are just going to rush down the back line what so they killed Jakaru um so like this 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 engage was too fast like Fusion University they played this way too fast. So like what they should do is that like they should um spread out a bit. They should um they should have an angle right here. Like why why is everyone like right here? And then like what they should do is like um they should like um try to like entice British Hurricane to engage, like bait them into an engage. And like meanwhile you could put like Jakar even in the back, like put some point pressure. But like they just need to play this slower. They're they're running poke. 
they need to poke them out a bit. They need to deplete the resources before hard engaging. Or, like, they need to, like, be positioned to catch the engage. Like, meanwhile, like, they should just be, like, Jakar should just be, like, harassing the enemy a bit. Like, forcing the space, forcing the point. And, like, setting up himself to engage, to catch the, like, British Hurricanes engage. But right here, this was just too fast. So, like, yeah, um, they're just gonna trade a bit. Jakaru's back. Now they're more advanced into, like, the point. Mm. So, Yikids, oh, that's, that's a feed. So, like, Brig Zen's not there. Like, you don't engage. Like, as I said, like, you just, you just need to have the ball clear the space, like, if necessary. Clear the flanks, like, for Shockwave. For like the back line to move in, force them into an engage, force them to use resources, and then look to catch the engage. That's how you play like ball comps against Brawl. This is a Brawl comp, by the way. Like, don't mind the Orisa. Like, they're they're running like like double shield with Brawl, Brawly like DPS and support. Like, they're, they're just, mm. so like, British Hurricane are um, gonna just rush them down again. Uh, they, they need to have positions here and here to punish this. Bad map control. Well, like, look, like, like, look, they're none, under no pressure when they do this. No pressure. And yeah, like, okay. So, like, they have, um, Ball Tracer. Ball Tracer has to use, like, multiple blinks to get there. Bad, like, questionable staging, but they had to, yeah. And yeah, easy win. Like, the high, like they just, they, like, they're under no pressure, no angles. Like, they're just gonna rush down the core. Like, so easily. So easily. Like, they're, you shouldn't really even have, like, a single core. Like, like, your Briggs Zen, um, Sigma, like, they should look for opportunities to split apart from each other. Like, Brig Zen, they'll probably stay together, but Sigma doesn't have to, like, be, like, some anchor or some shit like that. Like, that's not what Sigma's for. Sigma's, like, there to, like, hold space as well as to, like, use, like, off angles of pressure and shit, so. And, like, sure, like, and, like, the best way to punish, for Sigma to punish, like, aggression on your backline, like, is actually hold a different angle from them and try to, like, Poke them out as they try to like come for your um, backline. If they want to like go for your backline, make them trade for it. And like you have Ash on an angle as well, preferably. You don't want like them to like just eliminate your angle piecemeal. Okay, so like both teams, um, they're running poke comps, except Fusion University are running with the ball. So... Wait, why doesn't Jakaru? Oh, sh sorry. Uh, this happens so much. I have my back button set to the mouse key. Wait, 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 but like, but like, look. Um. So, Poco, like, is in a pretty odd position. Like, uh, taking an off angle is okay, your Sigma. You, you can, like, pivot back to, like, safer, like, space, but. But, like, 
Why why is he playing like in the open like this? Why isn't he playing here or like here for example? Um, Dakaru slams, but but like this is close, man. Like this is the wrong place to slam. Like 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 he's basically like past this like little choke thing. He's basically like slamming like past the choke. This like this engage needs to be just a tad later when like. British Hurricane are gonna like British Hurricane will be looking to like spread apart, and then when and then that's firstly when they're, when they're more vulnerable, like and second like you have multiple angles. Like he only had like really like one angle and one really shitty angle, so they didn't have angles to punish that. Bad engage. Bad engage. So like. Hybrids, they're gonna be. It's gonna be double shield mirror. Poco gets hacked. Like against this. Mm. Now they just reset. Uh, oh, they get the res off. And it forces them to use alts too. I mean, like, if the res gets like one ult out, I'll take it, but. Why are like both teams running um <laughs> Okay, so like they like they they're kinda of stuck into this room, they have no sight lines that allows like British Hurricane to take space. And without like the sight lines, like if you're running brawl that's fine, but if you're running double shield getting stuck here was a death sentence. If you try to like come, you know, come out and try to like stall the cart, then you're just gonna be spammed out from those angles. Um. So now, yeah, like this, this, this defense has been a shambles. So like, um, they're gonna do a pull combo. They're eventually gonna want to take the high ground. Right, it's an EMP. They're not in a stellar position to like, to like exploit this EMP. That EMP, I think. I mean, it's still an EMP, so it's still gonna get shit done, but not a lot of shit done. And yeah, like unless they were planning to like take the space that the EMP like allowed them to take, then like, oh hi Dragonfly, what's up? Like um. Almost nearing the end of this review, uh, well, like, this is a two-map, but I'll review, like, another one. I'll review Old and Bored versus Funy. But, uh, in summary, like, <laughs> Fusion University, like, they're, they're kind of playing, like, uh, so sloppy. Like, I, like, I see them, like, stack their core in, like, ball comp, and, like, the ball comp, um, against Brawl. Um, they're kind of, yeah, like, it's just so many stupid mistakes. Like, that's the difference between contenders and owl teams. Like, even though this has, like, owl players, like, contenders teams, like, they just make more, like, really stupid mistakes. Like, owl teams, uh, like, you know, unless they're, like, really elite teams, like O2 Blast, um, they can't out mechanic. Like, their, their macro needs to improve. Like, they're just engaged, like, their engagement timings have been really suspicious. Like, they need to, like, they, like, they don't know how to play against, like, you know, matchups, like, as you're using the ball comp, like, they should just stick to, like, playing the Winston comp, really. Um, until, like, you know, they practice, like, the ball comp enough in scrims, because I don't think they've practiced it, like, they're, they're too aggressive. So, like, so, like, they're gonna, the, the British Hurricane, they're gonna look to, like, rotate up here. Poco's like Poco gets forced off high ground. They should have kited earlier, or at least put Arissa there or some shit. But but like oh oh they rotate back to low ground because um Helvi Helv gets picked. How does Helv get picked? Drops into 
Huh? You see what I mean? Stupid mistakes. Like, like contenders teams, like, they just make stupid mistakes. And EU contenders is not the worst. Like, NA contenders is, is just way worse. Like, I might not even review, like, after this, like, if EU contenders. I might review, like, where the fuck it's, like, choose money crew. Is, it, is, is that LA Glad's player? No, versus, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna review American Tornado. Let's see if they can really back away. Let's see if, like, they're, they're really, they can really, like, back up their shit talk. Um, so, like, British Hurricane, they send one up to high ground. They, like, both teams are on low ground. Um, but I'm not sure why they're also on low ground. Like, like, Fusion University, like, they kind of give up the high ground here. So, like, the right response isn't to just say, hey, we, we, like, cleared the high ground. Yay, we don't have to use it. We actually want to, like, take the high ground and then, like, use it. That's how, like... That's how, like, you, um, you deal with, like, if, if, like, a team gives you space, you take it. But, like, like, look, like, there's foreheading, foreheading down main, like, uh, like, they need to, like, take the high ground. Like, they, uh, like, Fusion University gave it for free. Take it, take the damn thing. It's free candy. Like, like, who cares if rotation takes, like, 10, 20 seconds? Like, you set up 10, 20 seconds, you win the fight. Well, like, imagine, like, they, they mirrored Bongo's. Bongo from here is obviously much better than Bongo from low ground. Uh. Oh, oh, finally the casters are recognizing, like, these basic macro concepts. Um, so, like, I guess they don't have enough time to rotate to high, so, like, they only rotate, like, two. But, like, since they aren't able to put everyone on high ground, like, they, e like, British Hurricane easily take the damn thing. And then they drop. I mean, it's probably, it might be because of the window, but uh, I'd still put some players on high ground. Like, look, they drop from the high ground, they kill Jakaru, but... But, uh, sure, like... They still leave Shockwave and, like, Cruise, like, up there on high ground. Well, Hybrid's there to contest them, but Widow, like, killing that is, a, is a, like, a dice roll. You see? Yeah. Someone needs to hold that high ground. And I know they have ults so they could cheat their way out of this, but sure, still. You don't want them to clutch. So, like, British Hurricane, they're just kind of rushing these fights, and this time it worked, but... Fusion University, like, they're giving away the high ground, like, pretty easily. But, like, they do, like, eventually retake the high ground once British Hurricane also give the damn thing up. Uh, uh, like, okay, they're gonna run spawn camp now. So they're gonna run Zarya. Interesting. Well, what the fuck is this? And yeah, they easily break the spawn camp. Let's see, let's see how it's broken. Oh, Shockwave gets two picks from high ground. Finzi needed to de matrix that. Where's Finzi? There. Wait, what? Wait, what? Someone needs to contest that. Like, hybrid is, but too little, too late. So, like, so, like, um, Finzi did not enforce that space and. Boom. Yeah, like, if you're gonna spawn camp, at least do it properly. So, they're gonna run double bubble here. I'm not sure why they don't run Mercy. Mercy is just better. Against Brawl, at least. Like, uh, like Briggs, Briggs good for rally and shit, and, like, you know, long-range peel, but, like, you don't need... But, but like for and map control like contesting map control but for a comp that already gives you the entire map for free except where what their rhines like able to swing at like you don't need break you just you just need like poke damage and mercy provides you with that poke damage and also like i wish team stopped running like tracer against brawl like just run like echo like double poke or like ash echo 
Double pokes better against Brawl. Like, if you're playing Tracer against Brawl, like, you, you, you can... You can, like, part of the reason, like, Tracer gets value in the first place is, like, you can enforce space like an off-tank. Like, you can, if an Ash splits apart from your team, you can force them back. And also because, like, against more spammier comps, like, you can try to, like, like, obviously Winston Synergy is good, but, um, but against spammier comps, like, once you close the distance, it's, it's hard, easy to kill, like, those spammier heroes, like Zen, like, for example, and Ash, for example. But, um, against Brawl, like, you have to, like, wait until resources are depleted before you can even, like, engage hard. Like, you have to play really slow in the beginning. Wait for the poke. Wait for the, your Winston to, and, like, your, your, like, other DPS, like, deplete their resources. And then, yeah, and then that's when you engage. But, like, that's already going to be too late, uh, like, a lot of the time. So Jakar just four heading down the team. Okay, like I, I prefer like I prefer um if Jakar like position like he's probably soft engaging just to farm boombox like uh, like alt charge. Oh hybrid gets shockwave. Yeah, that's why you don't run Zarya. Zarya sucks. Zarya, Zarya is like actually so bad now. Like in professional play. And why is Zarya bad in professional play? The answer is map control. Like the reason why like Zarya is like Zarya is okay in ladder because like every all the action happens down main with like one or two occasional off angles, but like. In, like, professional play, people are gonna look to, like, split the map, like, fill the map more. And then, like, well, well, and then, like, Zarya really sucks at, like, stopping people from doing that. So, like, you want D.Va. D.Va allows you to deny one area of the map for, like, two seconds, which is big, actually. It allows you to, like, aggress onto, like, aggress onto overextended targets without, like, being punished from the sides for, uh, like, at least two seconds. And you can contest, like, lone angles like this. You can, like... You know, say fly and hybrid, get boombox healing, and yeah, without having to have your main tank do it for you. Like, main tank can do it, but, like, main tank's gonna have to use, like, his, like, resources, like, bubble. Like, he's gonna have to use, like, his Zarya bubble if he wants, I mean, like, his Winston bubble, if he wants to contest that. Which is big, and it doesn't, it means that you can't engage on, like, the back line, which will allow your whole team to actually fuck. Yes, I, I said it. So anyways, um... It looks like they got two, but a sugar, but like sugar freeze, like in the back, and nobody's peeling that. Where's Finzy? What is what is Finzy doing? Like someone has to peel that. Like Finzy, there's no reason for Finzy to be here. Like you, you got two now. Like protect your space. Like protect your um, protect your like two picks. Just just like play to like poke the rest of the players out. Play to live. Like don't don't let them clutch. You don't aggress, like, like, you just, like, when you get a pick, like, you don't actually really want to press W all the time. You want to, like, take the space first, deny map control first, and then go in. Like, like, if, if like, the your response to, like, getting a pick is pressing W, oh boy, they're going to clutch a lot. Like, this game is just a, ma a game of map control. Like, picks are secondary, honestly. And, and like, and like the reason why coaches like they they always harp on map control is because it's it's the name of the game. You control the map, you control the game. And you, brawl like gives up a lot of map control, sure, but like your goal is to like use the point to make it like a bit irrelevant, or like your goal is to like just like run down a target so that they have to peel and give up space. So like, um. Oh, Poco gets another graph eaten. So, like, British Hurricane are trying to, like, flip the map. Um, they're running more of Lucio. That's, that probably shows that they're just trying to, like... Instead of, like, trying to, like, stall, like, the point, for example, or hold the high ground, they're just gonna, like, look to run down, like, a target and try to force them to peel back. Um, in which case, like, this uh, they self movement ability, so they aren't that targetable. I, I don't like saying diveable because dive isn't really about jumping on targets. It's all about filling the map and then like using your control of the map to engage from multiple sides. 
Uh, so I, I, I'll just call it targetable from now on. It's a much better way, actually. Um, so like... So like, okay, like now, um, they're like... British Hurricane are kind of stuck here. Um, they're running Brawl, so it isn't that bad. But on the other hand, like... On the other hand, like, Jakarta doesn't really need to forehead into this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, take your time. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready for, like, some more bad, um... Bad gameplay reviews. Um, so, um... Uh, anyways, uh, like, Jakarta doesn't really need to, like, engage here. They don't have any ults to kind of finish this. So, like, all they really have to do is, like, keep them in here. Like, they're not... They're not threatening the cart. I mean, they kind of are, but, like, once it reaches here, it's gonna stop. So, like, they just need to, like, hold the high ground here. And if they want to, like, clear the high ground, that's gonna be really hard. Like, they can split here, but, like, you can just try to punish that. Um, they could, you, they could try to rotate out of here. But then, like, you have better angles to try to punish that, so. It's like, you just have to keep them here, honestly. Let them come out a bit, and then you engage on the back line. Like, see, like, since Jakarta just foreheads into that, like, he just gets punished for it. Without, like, an ultimate, that is. Like, you just have to, like, you just have to, like, hold that space. Like, you hold that space, you know, dive hold space by, like, you know, surrounding it, like, holding the high ground. Like, because if they come out, then they're just gonna get their backline dropped on. And, you know, they can get a lot of cooldowns, so. So, like, he just needs to, like, hold that space, wait for, like, the dragon, and then throw the dragon into that room. No need for anything more. But instead, like, he just uh, ints into the team and gets punished for it. Like, he, they're already, like, so deprived of map control. Like, they have no angles to work with. Bra even Brawl wants angles to work with, but... But, like... The, but, like, when you... When you're, like, that aggressive, like, when you're too aggressive, then you just, like, get, get yourselves killed. It's still dangerous to go in front of it, and yeah. And, and like, you're gonna... Uh, sorry, yeah. And, and you're just going to, like, get, um, a lot of shit flung at you, so. But, like, oh, but, like, first Fusion University, they actually clutched this. So, we, I talked about, like, like, so they trade a bit, but Jakaru, like, juggles into this room. They don't want, really want to stay in this small-ass room. Unless, like, you know, they have something to punish the monkey. It's very hard to, like, get for a monkey to get eliminations when you're in that small room. And, yeah, like, they... They, they kind of, like... Their, their back line gets separated from their front line. Really hard. And, 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 and like, yeah... Uh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Well, why is... Why is Scarippa, like, right here, like, there? Like, why not fade forward? So, like, British Hurricane... Okay, let's see how much of this dog shit game I have. So, like, Fusion University to get to, like, push this? Oh, oh shit! I, I thought, like, British Hurricane were on, like, attack. That's why, but... But, like, it still applies. All they need to do is, like, play slow, hold that space, and then, like... Just kill them with dragon. Or, like, you can engage once you have that dragon. But right there, yeah, you didn't want to. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> you missed the British Hurricane, like, uh, fucking up, so you didn't miss much. Like, like, they got, like, five picks and they still lost. So, like, uh, right here, um... Like, this Moira, like, pick is whack, but... Oh well. It's like, they're just gonna, like, stall the cart. So they try to, like, trade... And they pop the beat to, like, survive. They, they, they're almost close to these key ults, so if they, if they want to win, they have to win now. 
Let's let's actually see how 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 did British Hurricane even get the I mean get this close? Wait wait how long was like the 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 thing open for? So like so like now they should start trying to fill the map. Like now they should have Jakari on this high ground for example, and like Boombox can like be maybe right. Uh, Maywall makes it hard. Well they don't have Maywall so. Uh, yeah, it's fine, but um, they just need to like split apart a bit. They should be playing this stack, and the key against playing bra against brawl is that like you split apart so that like brawl can't really like threaten multiple objectives at the same time. Like, you know, brawl can't like target multiple enemies at the same time. With dive, you can, and you can really punish splits very well. But um, brawl can't really. But like the thing is that if you're playing split, then like brawl is gonna have to like commit all six of their players just to rush down one target. And, like, when it does, like, your goal is to really, like, trade down, like, at least, uh, either make an equal trade at least, or, like, trade out two or three, which should be easy if you're doing it right. So, like, against Brawl, you want to split apart so that, like, if they try to, like, go for one of your players, then, like, you can trade, uh, they're only going to kill at most one player. Like, you don't want them to kill, get, like, at least three or four, you don't want them to, like, get three or four at the same time. That's, that's like the key to playing against Brawl. Exploit the fact that they can't really, not only that they can't punish splits well, but they can't also punish, they can't like, um, but they're really good at punishing players for being grouped up together. But like, once they're not grouped up together, they, they can't like, you know, have Winston like jump a target and then like Tracer like go for another target. They can't like, you know, make the whole kettle boil, so to speak. Or, or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, Anyways. So, like, yeah, Fusion Universally, like, they, they just need to play more split. Like, like a lot of times people like, will say, like, oh my god, my playing team has to play less split. But that's, but a lot of time I think that's a bad take. Like, a lot of time the problem is that you're playing so damn stacked together that every time the Ryan fucking goes in, he's gonna kill like 5 or 6. And they're, you're only gonna be able to trade 2 because they can throw resources at you. And, and like, okay, and like they're just gonna win these fights again, okay. So I've talked about this a lot, like I, I did a lot of talking, but let's see how this fight was lost. Oh, this was like, yeah. Oh, so like the the observers. Uh, um, so like it, it, this looks forced. Like, it looks like they're just trying to force themselves on the cart. Like they, like breaking this choke is gonna be really hard. Without like you know, Cruz needs to switch to Mercy here or something. But like they they need to be splitting this. They need to be splitting like splitting this. So like they need to send DPS like this way. Send DPS like. Maybe have them sneak onto the high ground behind and then like with a mercy pocket for example like if they try to run you down then you have a mercy pocket and hopefully you're running something like um like Ash that has like an escape so like or a, like an echo like I prefer if they, I honestly prefer them to run double poke here they should be running double poke. Yeah like Tracer yeah Tracer needs to flank. The only problem is that, like, until, like, this team is softened up, like, um, Tracer, is gonna be hard for Tracer to engage into that. Uh, so, that's why I prefer, like, double poke. Like, maybe switch Tracer for Echo. Switch, um, Kree... F Kree's fine, but, um, switch Tracer for Echo, and then have Echo try to, like, just sneak behind, like, the enemy, like, go on the high ground behind. Or, like, just have her poke, like, this way. At least split a bit, and then, like... Have your um, have your like a uh, three-person backline go here. Have Jakaru go in with Primal, and that should be like really hard to deal with for British Hurricane. They're being surrounded from multiple sides. Players just give Roll too much respect. Too much respect. Like play dirty. Play dirty. Don't don't play clean. Play fucking dirty. Oh, I, like play like a fucking madman. Like th this comp sucks at punishing shit. Like dive is really good at punishing, like punishing like stupid shit. But um, brawl isn't. Oh, I'm sorry for like my colloquial language, but it, it's true. Yeah, like against against brawl, you just need to play like a like a fucking El Loco um 
like fucking crazy madman. Because like they can't punish it. If they want to punish, they have to bring their entire ass squad like onto you. Like that's brawls has to stick together. It's not like dive where a tracer plus a ball can like punish you, or like a Winston can punish you. Like that's that's a benefit of dive. It can do multiple things at the same time in multiple areas of the map. But like brawl, like every time it ha wants to do something, it needs like bring the entire squad. Okay, so now they're gonna play like an anti dive type of like stick. If they use their alts right, then that shouldn't really matter. This comp at least can play a bit more split, but otherwise, like, yeah, yeah, like, ultimates. Once you run these counter comps, then you, you already conceded defeat. And yeah, like, that's why you don't run, like, these types of comps. I'm, like, this is just a worse brawl comp. Like with with some mobil more mobility, but and which might be a bit valuable, but still. Um. So like they're going to like do the spawn camp. They're gonna turtle in this room. No, you don't need to do that. Well, like, I, I know it works against, like, EU ranked, but, um, I know it works in EU ranked, but, like, Jakar did get rank 1 EU, but, like, against, like, you know, professional, like, level teams, then they, they won't allow you to just W into Ryan. Um, it, it, but honestly, it's still unbelievable that, like, even GM Ryan still fall to, like, hey, we're gonna W key into you with Winston. Like, like they don't really know how to play against Winston. They only played dive mirrors all their life, so. Um, so like all like Fusion University have to do is that they just have to push cart, hold the space, and if they try to like go into open space, you drop on them. But like they're not, they don't need to do this. Like they get their skills forced out so early. And, and like Jakarta escapes this time, but. Uh, and so like, yeah, they really need, they, they should be running double poke here. Like, okay. I'm like, uh, what you like? What hero would you be prefer to be in this situation, Tracer or Echo? No, uh, like jumping front line. Um, it works in ladder because uh, you know Ryan's like don't know how to escape the bubble for some reason. The, you can jump as long as you get charged. Well, um, you still want to win in the neutral and. Um, in any case, like, the best way to force out resources from British Hurricane is to, like, go backline. Try to stage a good engage and go backline. Like, again, spam your comps, like, you will see Winston's go frontline. And why? It's very hard to stage against, like, range poke comps. Because, like, there's so many angles, like, to deal with. So, like, you're, so, you're, like, you can, like, try to, like, go for these angles, try to collapse them as Winston. Or, like, you can go for, like, the backline and have your tracer, like, take these angles and then eventually create the multiple angles that you want. But, like, against this brawl comp, that gives a lot of map control. You want to be going backline and then, like, going in. And then, like, having your, your like, frontline, like, you know, your, your like, backline, like, move in from the other angle. So, like, jumping, like, tanks is okay as spammier comps because you kind of have to. But against brawl comps, like, you have to go backline. And Fusion University should really be running double poke here. So um, I, I actually want to show you an ex example of this. Um, why, why, like, um, well, like, I, I, I forgot the example, but if you watch Fearless last year, you, you always notice that he jumps frontline, like a lot of the time, unless he has an ultimate. In which case, and the reason is because like he he can't stage because like it's double shield during double shield meta. Like there was so much range poke that like if you try to like stage on some high ground for example they just poke you out of that high ground 
and like they force you back into main anyway. So like, so like all what Fearless did was that he jumped frontline, and then he had and then Fleta was the one who was taking the angle along with Blip. Like Sombra was was like common back then compared to like Tracer because Sombra like can't get poked out as easily. So um. So you have Sombra, Echo on taking the angle, like being the pincer, but you just have Fearless like slamming in from the front. And like, why not Ryan, you might say. Like, some people ask, like, why not Ryan? And the reason is just because like, Winston is just like, more burst value. Like, your goal is to like, you're running dive heroes anyways, like, mainly. So like, you're not looking for like, you're not looking like swing, 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 swing. And, and also like, Ryan takes a lot of like, Ryan is takes a lot of like team support to like keep up. So, so but like nowadays, like if you watch Fearless, he he does absolutely go for backline now because he can, unlike in double shield meta. But if he is playing against double shields, then like he is still gonna go front line because like it's hard to like stage against range poke. Um, so like. So like uh, I I want uh, I want your card to be holding here, not not going here. Like you see, he he like sure boombox gets a fat nade, but there's no follow up. Sugar free isn't here to follow up. For example, where is shockwave gonna follow up? They can just like tuck themselves in until the nade's over and then press W, and then for while forcing out Jakaru's skills early. Like uh, one thing that that could have that he could have done is like he could have like stood here, scouted out a bit. Like once like they, they once like he knows that like uh, British Hurricane had come out here, he he jumps up to the high ground, waits a couple seconds, and then drops on backline. And then uh, what, meanwhile you're gonna have Sugar Free on the flank and try to like go in from there. But like right here, um. Like disengage, um, they trade a bit, but, but like yeah, like they do have a lot of ultimates to use, and it's very hard to deal. Like unless like they're just popping alts, like British Hurricane are just popping alts just because like if they want to win, then like once like they know the fight's lost, then they should just stop pressing Q. Like you should all like. Like almost always, you should, you should pop alt with an intention to win, not an intention to say, "Hey, we're gonna like stall for like five seconds longer." So they're, they're gonna go to like the flip the map thing again. Wait, were they set up for this right? Mm, so like, uh, why is mm, they have to like stand? Put one on cart. And because of that, they don't have the angles to really punish this. Like you, you might might be better just put Tracer on cart because Tracer can survive, and then you you put um, Jakaru on high ground. You put the backline on high ground. Mm. Oh, okay. Holy shit. The mic quality is really poor. Um, anyways, um... I have an audio file, by the way, so... Uh, anyways, uh... Oh, they're just gonna win off the bat. So they're running this like weird ass. Um... Like I don't know why like the contenders like audio is worse. I always like the owl streams are just easier to listen to. Um. So anyways, uh, right here, um, they're going here. Like shockwave gets picked. Yeah, this fight's really interesting, but uh, Jakaru's gonna get poked out. 
Like, this is a cop where you might have to, like... Like, with the turret and shit, like, you might have to, like, forehead. Like, this cop actually has a lot of poke. Not range poke, necessarily, but just, like, mid-range poke. So, like, Shikaru might... Okay, so, like, what Shikaru should have done, like... What what I think Fusion University should have done is, like, instead of holding, like, right here... Um... Like, this is, like, holding, like, this close means that these mid-range heroes are at their best. Like, you hold back right here so that you have some cover to use against that, at least. Like, this isn't really good in terms of cover. And then, like, you just farm out. Let me actually show you an example. Um, here it is. Like, uh, please, I'm, okay, well, okay, the Overwatch League audio is actually okay to listen. Oh, oh shit, I forgot this audio is delayed. Fuck this. Um, so, um, where is it? So, like, right here, um, it's like a similar comp. They actually run, like, a really similar comp. Like, they're running the Torb. And they're running that break, so like compare this to the to this. So like instead of like trying to like go aggressively like against that, look at look at what fearless does. I probably need the fearless POV of this actually. Um Where the fuck is it? Huh? Oh, here it is. So he's actually gonna play against a... So he's gonna play against like the, the same comp, but like instead of like trying to like engage hard into that, like he's just going to like farm ultimate. He's just gonna farm nano and like the reason is because this is very hard to break actually. Like you're gonna need to poke out this comp a lot. Force them to use like resources. So he's like he's gonna like hey, go in a bit. Try to stall a bit of the cart, that's one reason, but it's really just a farm out. Like, don't take too much stock in that he's, like, he's, like, kind of frontlining. He's just farming all and doing some farming primal as well. Almost dies there, but, um, he knows his limits. And he does see, like, he sees, like, um, fits, like, our position, so he punishes that. That's, like, a really, that's, like, the thinnest of margins, our position, so... And then, like, once he does farm Nano, he just, he goes in. So, like, that's a lot of, that's along the lines of what, what you're supposed to do when you're in a, when you're playing Winston on a map in a matchup that doesn't really favor you that much. And, and like, comps with a lot of mid-range poke are very, are probably, like, the worst comps to play Winston into. And mid-range poke is because you're going to be staging at mid-range, but... Okay, thank god I didn't have to listen to this audio. This audio is like several seconds delayed. It's kind of like, yeah. Um. Um, so like, now um, they're switching to um, double shield. Like, they could have just held here. They could have just done the fearless. And like, you'd run, um, this is like more of a brawl comp, honestly, but... It has a lot of mid-range poke, so. Like, to beat mid-range poke, then, like, you probably want to run, like, the Winston with, like, either, like, double double poke heroes or, um, long-range poke heroes or, 
Yeah, or like you, you, you like um, run like uh, like I like the like the Talon Dive also kind of like this comp was kind of like played against Talon Dive, but I'm not convinced that's actually it actually works well. <laughs> After let's oh let's do it. Um, I have no idea, so let's do it. So like right here, yeah, like let's take a look at this. So they're gonna run the double shield. So, um, right here, mm, so like, uh, the back line's right here, but, um, Orisa and Sigma, mm, yeah, they don't have to fight this, um, like, Sigma just, like, needs, maybe, like, takes an angle right here, for example, but, like, right here, they're stacked, so, like, they're giving away so much control. And like they just get collapsed onto, with like the more brawlier comp of British Hurricane. Like they need to be like having those angle threats. Like there should be one, there should be an angle threat from the left, for example, like here, even though the window is pointed towards the left. To be honest. Um. And now like this is just gonna be a panic. Yeah. No time to like really take fill the map. So and yeah, easy. Easy. And Jakar's just gonna have to stall here. And they're just gonna stagger onto cart. Unfortunate. And so, um. Hurricane wins, but yeah, like. Both really sloppy from both sides, honestly, 